Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to two episodes five and six of Real Life. So let's go ahead and get started with episode five and three. Hold on, and three, two, one, go. Okay, so she's yeah, mm -hmm. she's back, still gone, and Rena wants his face. You know that situation. At least you're okay. At least we're not okay. Well, um, it's a little complicated. Yeah, that too. Well, of course Kai's a good boy, but I mean... <laughs> But did she also get her bag though? Yeah, soon she did. Cause it's not there. Mm hmm Because she secretly is just jealous of her possibly. Or she secretly despises her. Or she just secretly wants to be friends with her but she's having a hard time. That's why I still feel like Kazaki and Chizu they know each other. They have to. I just want to see this woman's face. That definitely looks like her.
No, I don't think she did. She just took the bag. Well, yeah, but you can be close to her as well. You just need to just make amends and start fresh and make that first step. <laughs> mm-hmm. You're in the end, in the end, you're making yourself look bad and not her. work to your best abilities. Exactly. Because you're going to end up regretting it, though. <laughs> Not really, babe. Yeah, I think so, too. You just need to, like I said, take that first step with her and make amends and try again on it. That's all. And not that creepy-ass smile. I mean, yeah, she only truly smiles when she's around him, but, you know, of course. <laughs> I mean, because you know, eventually, because he is getting so close to her. Ugh. Oh, of course you are. Why did Rena have my bag? Mm-hmm. Which she did. Oh, 
Really? You are <laughs> cheesing him! Okay, but as I was trying to say the first time, like, it seems like these two are going to fall in love with each other. So, there, there's going to be a point where he's going to have to tell her, hey, I'm not this age. I'm actually 27. Ugh, God, that's probably going to be awkward. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No, she's just jealous of your baby. What? <laughs> Unfortunately, yeah. Which is so true. Oh god, baby is about to malfunction. You know he has to watch you. Mm-hmm. And then he has to write it in the notes for the day, you know? Unfortunately. Jeez, you can't just come out and say that, baby. Oh, my God. Mm 
That's right. There you go. Go on. Just do it. Baby, the, no, 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 no. Aww. Right? Not that smile, but the other smile that you just did. That was adorable. <laughs> to capture the moment.
But it's true though. With the fact that he's sitting here helping all these younger people, younger students who are, of course, younger than him, it's taking, it's giving him that chance to look at himself and his situation and how he can change something. Once by the end of this experiment, <laughs> experiment is done, he can take the skills that he's learned from this journey and use it and just, you know, better his life. I mean, now I'm happy that Rena and Tizu are friends because I really wanted them to be friends from the get-go. Technically, even though, yes, Tizu was jealous, and yes, we can all be jelly of our friends no matter what. It happens to all of us at the end of the day. You can be jealous of your friends, family members, whoever, but... At the end of the day, you still love them regardless. Even if someone is more successful than you, even if you have family members or even friends, especially really more family members comparing you to that other person, and you literally tell them to freaking stop, and they don't stop. You kind of just say, you know what, fuck it, it is what it is, and then you just start ignoring them about that because, whoo, God. You just want to, like, at the end of the day, tell that person, I am not going to be this person, and I never will, so please stop comparing me to that person, just saying, because, you know, ugh, not the coolest. Well, that ends well, in a way. Did he just use? Oh. Oh, she looks so cute without her glasses. Oh my god. But he did not just use. You know, I was like, what do you say? Take for breeze or something. A type of smell. <laughs> Odor protected smell. <laughs> oh my god. So you tell me he possibly fell asleep. Didn't have time to take a shower because of that. He has to do what he's got to do. Uh, and whatever floats your boat. But like I said, I'm happy that she's to do. And Rena and friends, and they are able to start anew with this chapter, and hopefully it, it's it's a good one. Now, if Chizuru is this woman, and the situations that both her and What's His Face have gone through technically together, because since we don't really know the answer of it yet, because like I said, still by the end of this, he is going to have to tell Chizuru like, "Hey, I'm not this age. I'm actually this age," and I think once he tells her that. That's when Chizuru is going to be like, well, you know what? I have a secret to say just as much as you. It's like this. Or it might be like the angel beat situation where the, where, you know, <laughs> I'm going to cry. They, they come back to life uh, and such after this experiment is done. So they go back to their regular lives and ish and they actually meet each other again. And they're like, oh my God, are you such and such? And then figure it out. That would be so cute, but who knows how it's going to end. But yeah, I really enjoyed this episode. I mean, to see Rena, you know, dealing with all of the feelings that she had from last week going into this week, I mean, you feel so bad for her, like straight up. And in a way, I know how she feels because we've all been there in some way, shape, or form. But the fact is that she was able to let it out, let her emotions cry out, and see that she was wrong for doing what she was wrong because somebody finally told her. And then also, you know, having, you know, the conversation between herself and Chizuru. 
finish. It was really good for her, and I'm really happy that she's making this step in the gr in a great in a right direction. But go ahead and pause the video, and I'll see you guys in one second for episode six. Okay, episode six in three, two, one, go. Heart string. I think it was parts. Love. Oh. Cheese it are you in love, babe? This isn't the first time. Well, Anita, unfortunately, they're going to be right at your doorstep in a minute. Yeah, the fact is that he smokes and drinks. Oh my god, horror! It smells like cigarettes. Mm hmm, even your shirt. <laughs> That's his beer. Hmm? It looks more like a floppy disk. Yeah! Well, okay, not only that, but it looks very close to, you know how, like, what the PSP disc look, used to look like? It looks straight up like that.
Just a friend. You want to go do something else for a little while? Well, yeah, it's easy for him. Some people study for several hours. I know I did. Yeah. Mm. Unfortunately. Is on going to figure it out? Oh! <laughs> Bye! It's trash. So, you're not going to do anything to her. You're just studying. I don't think you would take advantage of her. Just finish your quota, and then after that, deuces.
Yeah, that one's really nice. Yeah, but something just tells me, like, Olga with him, like, I mean, there's still so much, like, just like with Chizuru, he is also a little bit shouted, or clouded, and mystery in a way. Oh, Do we really need surveillance on him, though? God damn it, on! You just say it's for a job. But she knows you're lying. Oh. Oh. No. You are, aren't <laughs>
So you work at the company as well. So still, it makes you wonder, who else is either working for the laboratory or is a Thai subject? Because come on now. Twenty-seven as well. Uh, so all three of you about to be twenty-eight. Oh, yeah. Okay, so you be twenty-eight this year. So now, really, but you can't trust anybody who you be making friends with now. Not saying that you were probably going to do it, but yeah, you had to be tested on it just in case. Okay, but you have seen him before. Okay. Oh. Is there anything else you want to share? <laughs>
<laughs> now go take out your trash. <laughs> okay, well now that on also works for the laboratory as well. Like I said, it makes you very suspicious on who else is currently lying about their age because everybody is everybody makes you feel a certain type of way because it makes you wonder who is an actual student and who's a pretending student and stuff it's almost like how <laughs> me when I was younger um, I'm very tall for my age I'm, I'm five nine almost six foot basically right and so when I was younger um, because of my tallness I looked older than I was there was a point where my parents and I, we went to a, we, I think we went to like, we went to a theme park in Nebraska and we were walking around like the fair area of it and such. And so my parents decided, oh, okay, let's have someone guess my age and such. And, they, and so they're like, hey, how you doing? Like, yeah, we want to guess, you want you to guess someone's age. And they're like, okay, who? And they're like, her. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, let's see how this goes. So. He, he got a good look at me. Like, every single person who did this got a really, really good look at me. And at this time, I was, like, 12. And they, they looked at me really hard and good and well. And so they were, like, 16, no. 17, no. 20, <laughs> no. And so when I told them my actual age, they was like, what? <gasps> oh! Oh! <laughs> I'm sorry, I forget all about the title name. Um, they was like, what the fuck? Like, are you serious? I was like, yeah, yeah. So I was like, yeah. I don't, like, you may not think it, like, I don't look like it, but because of my tallness, yeah, I look a lot older or mature and stuff. And I was like, yeah, no, 12, itty bitty little teeny tiny baby, yeah. But now since the next episode is called Text Subject 1 and then an arrow pointing to 2, does that possibly mean we're finally going to get something on Test Subject 1 and possibly maybe the reason why Test Subject 1 failed and maybe why Test Subject 2 could possibly, you know, accomplish um, or complete this experiment and stuff, really, with Adita being Test Subject 2. But we really ain't going to really know until next week. But honestly, to have now on tell us the truth about who she is really and stuff, yeah. I'm happy about that. I mean, whoo, that confession, though, but it was cute. But, of course, like, <laughs> Arita sees no, nothing really into her because of the fact is he is, you can just, like I said from episode one, head over heels in love with Chizuru, but he's just, it's taking him a little while to get it. It's gonna, I think what what's gonna happen is he's not gonna know until, like, the final episode of this series, which is 13, and then I think those, oh, those four OVA episodes will really get into the nitty gritty of it. One of them possibly confessing to the other, both, and then Adita eventually really confessing to Chizuru. But, you know, we ain't gonna know until we get there. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episodes five and six of Real Life. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially, y'all, next Friday for episodes seven and eight. Bye, guys.